What's up, everybody? It's Keefe from Ghost Cult Magazine, ghostcultmag.com, and I'm here with the one and only legend, Tony Campos of Static X. Oh, me. Hey. You, man. How you doing? I'm all right, man. I, I'm uh, happy to be here, man. We're happy to have you. Starland Ballroom down in Sayreville, New Jersey, once again, a place you're, not, you're very familiar with. Yeah. But uh, you're here for the uh, Static X 20th Anniversary Wisconsin Death Trip Tour. We're really happy to have you. Uh, shows have been selling out. Uh, by all accounts, the tour has been great. But how's it been for you? Yeah, uh, it, it's been awesome. It's been a uh, uh, emotional, uh, bittersweet experience. Uh, you know, just uh, getting to play with Ken and Quichi again after all this time, and uh, reconnecting with those guys. And uh, yeah, and it's like every night, you know, before or after the show, we're in the dressing room, the three of us, and. Uh, something will just come up and like we'll remember something uh a couple nights ago um we were on stage uh, handing out pics and shit and uh kenny kind of snuck up behind me and i smacked him in the nose and that instantly brought back a memory i had about uh one of the early shows we did out on, on our first one of our first tours and uh first song into the set uh yeah i was uh, i was trying to do Gene Simmons move and I did this and I knocked my headstock up and I felt it hit something and I look over and Wayne's looking at me like oh and then I see the tooth fall out of his mouth and he, and he shakes his head at me and then he goes to the dressing room we finish the song and uh and then about 10 minutes later, Wayne figures out he's not bleeding. He's not in that much pain. So he's like, fuck it. Let's go finish the show. So we went out and finished the show, man. <laughs> you know? But it's just things like that that, that that come back, like like just being around those guys again, you know? So it, it's really cool and, uh, you know, really emotional. Uh, one of Wayne's sisters came out to, uh, to the show in Atlanta. And, you know, I... Uh, I was just like really uh, emotional uh, having her there and uh, our original sound guy who, who was in the RV with us w was there and so it was just uh, a lot of a lot of emotions a lot of uh, a lot of good feelings and you know and just uh, it's been kind of surreal man you know killer man i appreciate you sharing all that um you know i think it's t i think people it's tough right um band members pass away bands break up things happen things happen with you guys uh it's rare that you get another opportunity to kind of reconnect with those guys it's terrible that wayne is gone and we miss him uh gone way too soon and i think what what i think the thing that i appreciate about this tour is the intent is that this is done with love and care and respect to wayne's memory and music that wayne helped make that you all helped make um i know the in, as usual the front man always the singer always gets all the credit for the band but you guys were a band even though it was, you know, in, in Wayne's name also, and he was a leader of sorts, but it was all of your music. It was all of your doing, all of your career. And, you know, I don't, I think it's great that you guys are out here honoring him. A lot of people did not get to see Static X. People have told me, oh man, I never got to see them. This is amazing. I can't wait to go. So I, you're clearly you're meeting longtime fans and first time fans out on the road, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's been really cool. Um, yeah. Since the, we uh, announced this uh, it, it's expanded to to worldwide and like we're going to places that Static X never got to go to and so to bring this to to not only the, the old school fans but the fans that never got to see the band at all uh, I think is really cool and uh, uh, really, really special to to bring not only the Wisconsin Death Trip, but uh, you know the Wayne Memorial to to everyone, uh, and, and including the people that never got to see the band. So it's uh, it's just we're overwhelmed by how the, the response has been, and uh, yeah, we we don't take it lightly, you know. So we're we're really making sure we do this right, and. Uh, put as much effort and, and time into this as, as we can to, uh, to make it right for for the fans for us and uh for wayne's family so. right on and i get bummed out because i see people who clearly haven't even given this you know a second thought very negative there's a troll twitter account wayne static's ghost that's like trolling you guys brutal and you know 
fair or not, because people are going to bitch, people are crabby, right? But, you know, if you haven't come out to the show, if you didn't care about Static X before, you're certainly not going to suddenly love them right. if it's not for you. But, I, I, you know, it's got to feel kind of a little bad that somebody's trying to harsh your mellow and crab on you guys from the, behind the keyboard. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a, it, it, it's a symptom of today's society. There's always going to be somebody that, that's, that's going to, you know, want to troll you and talk shit and and uh, you know I, I'm okay with that um I mean, uh, the majority of our fans are, are clearly behind us, and and uh, just as importantly, if not more so, Wayne's family is behind us. They're supporting us 100%. And you know, maybe uh, maybe some of those critics critics are you know speaking from maybe they do genuinely feel that that you know may, maybe what we're doing is wrong, but. Um, like if the people that raised Wayne, the people that grew up with him, the people that knew him the best, if they're okay with us doing this, then I don't see why someone who read an interview or or saw an interview and thinks they know him, you know, <laughs> better than his family. Uh, yeah, I, I don't understand it, but uh, but it's not gonna deter us because uh, you know we have Wayne's family support, and that means everything to us. So. Right on. And that's that's the main thing. And also, you know, remember, again, that if he had not passed away, he would be on tour. He would be playing these songs. He'd be here with us right he'd now. Be here he'd be talking the, to him instead of me. The, hopefully, <laughs> yes. Uh, that would that would be cool. But I'm yeah. stoked to talk to you because it's great to see you again. It's been a minute. Um, but, yeah, the tour has been selling out and the overall – very positive vibes. I took a peek at the set list. I normally don't do that. It looks sick. <laughs> Obviously, the Wisconsin Death Trip songs are there. There's a couple of the real choice ones from all the other albums. So it's really nice to see everything represented. Um, was it fun for you to kind of get back and, you know, you've been in so many groups and you've made so much music in the meantime since you, you were out of the band. How did it feel kind of like, did you have to relearn some of those songs or did it come right back to you? Well, it, it was funny. Like when we, the three of us got in, in, in the rehearsal room, the start jamming like all the old stuff Wisconsin Death Trip and the machine stuff that came back like that and uh, it wasn't only like the later stuff we were like uh, how's this go again uh, all right, let's pull it up on YouTube and uh, hold it up to the mic there at the rehearsal space and like oh, okay yeah that's how we did yeah so yeah like like some of the stuff came back really quick and, and other stuff we were like oh wait uh, we, had to, we had to think about it for a little bit <laughs> oh cool um, yeah you know that's I laugh because that's I, I totally visualized that in my mind as you were explaining it like that's totally pl you know you'd see it um, one of the things I always appreciated about uh, your playing is that you know you have this really really gnarly fat tone which a lot of pick players don't have and it just suits the music perfectly especially Static X but also your other projects and you're a very unique player that your kind of sound is the same in every band it just fits every band you play in so uh, I, I really appreciate that about you I'm looking forward to hearing that rumble tonight man uh, what do you do to kind of get that dial that tone in is that a combination of sort of the player and the gear or uh, yeah like um, you know I always try to to tailor my sound uh, to whatever particular band I'm playing in, um, and uh, for this band, I, you know, I, I get to pick my own, so to speak. Um, you know, and I just try to try to uh, get that sound that I had on the on the first record and recreate that. Um, so I've got a mix of. A little bit of old gear and a little bit of new gear. Um, uh, I'm st still using my uh, uh, Sansamp uh, Tech 21 VT bass pedal for for my clean tone because that's always been been an, an awesome uh, clean tone pedal. Um, but uh, for my distortion, I've been using uh, a, a, a fairly new company called Dark Glass Electronics. Yeah, yeah uh, they just uh, kicked me down with a new uh, pedal called the Next Seven and uh, get some really good distortion tones out of that. So, uh, yeah, a little, little, little bit of old, a little bit of new, you know? And uh, I, I think uh, I, I got a pretty good tone for, for, this, for this tour, so. Sick. I have heard awesome things about Dark Glass in general as a company, so that's, yeah, I'm, glad, I'm glad they're taking care of you. That's killer. Um, make sure we're good on time, okay. Uh, 
for my next question, I definitely wanted to ask you about, obviously, the reception to The Masked Singer, Zero. Um, I think it's been a really cool thing. I think it... I think it definitely builds some excitement and mystery. We don't have mystery too much mm -hmm. anymore. You know, when even Ghost takes the makeup off and Kiss, you know, we, you know, it's been a long time since Kiss was, uh, you know, before they were unmasked. Right. So, uh, you know, what do you think that brings to this beside the fact that people are already pumped up for you guys, that this element? Uh, well, uh, one, one of the main things was, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, in, in keeping the singer's identity uh, unknown is uh, to kind of keep the focus away from from the new singer like when when we presented this we didn't want it to come out like here's static x with their new singer you know that's not what we're doing that's not what we're, we're, we're trying to do here um so uh, you know keep keeping him behind the mask i think helps uh, keep the focus on you know, the anniversary remembering wayne and um you know we didn't have we didn't want to have like a uh Van Hagar situation, you know. <laughs> so I, I think you know the, doing it this way is a, a cool way to you know keep the focus on on you know on the real meaning behind this, and um, and at the same time it's like it's a cool way to represent Wayne on stage while keeping it organic and keeping uh, the energy of four guys on, on stage as opposed to having a hologram or something. I mean, that's cool, but there's no energy, you know? It's just kind of just there. Um, so, so I think that this was a really cool way to, to represent Wayne and, uh, and his vibe and energy and uh, at the same time keep the focus on, the, you know, what's really important to us. Killer, thank you for that answer. Um, you know, just as we wind this down, I just have a couple more questions for you. Uh, one of which was, you know, obviously as this goes around the world and there's a couple of different, you know, touring configurations and countries that have been uh, kicked out already, uh, will you change the setup much uh, in terms of the other non-Wisconsin Death Trip songs? I don't think so. Um, maybe f for the second leg of the US tour you might add some other songs but I'm don't really I don't really see it happening uh, I think what we're doing right now is 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 pretty good and uh, you know the response has been great so if it ain't broke why fix it killer and I do think people will appreciate again this set list is if you love static X this set list has got your name all over it, pal. Uh, and then just for a, like, a last question, because you are one of the hardest working dudes in all of music, not just metal. Uh, obviously, this is going to take up the next couple of years of your life. We have the Project Regeneration album still to come, and uh, and we've got a new song out already uh, from it. But um, uh, any news on any of your other projects? Clearly, some of them are going to have to go to the back burner for now. Yeah, uh, well, uh, Dino and Emilio are supposed to be uh, writing music for New Asesino Records, so by the time I get back home at, uh, from this at the end of the year, uh, hopefully there'll be some uh, music uh, laid down so I can go in and scream some obscenities in Spanish and uh, we'll have another Asesino record. So we'll see about that. Um, as far as anything else, uh, in Ministry's out already doing a tour in Europe. Um, they've recruited uh, Paul D'Amour, the you know, Tool's original bass player, really, really cool dude, uh, really great bass player. Um, so yeah, they're, they're doing stuff, and uh, I think uh, Max is out doing Soulfly, so you know, everybody's out doing, doing something. Um, so I mean, I, I'd love to work with those guys again, and uh, hopefully in the future our, our paths will line up again, and uh, I can go work with those guys. Um, but uh, right now, this is, uh, this is what I'm concentrating on, making sure this gets done right. Killer, and hopefully uh, Dino will make some time. Dino and Bert will get that Fear Factory thing sorted out, uh, so we can get that also, which we look forward to you and your work with them. Have bass will travel. Tony Campos, the man, the myth, the bass legend of Static X. Please come out and support this tour. Please come out and support these guys. It means a lot to them. Uh, if it meant anything to you, if Wayne meant anything to you, please come and support this. I am Keefe from Ghost Cult Magazine. This is the one and only Tony Campos. Once again, we're out.